yeah, it's uh, it, it's hard to give advice, um, at least as hard as to take advice. Don't go specialize. Don't be too sure that you know the future. Um, be flexible, and remember that careers and jobs is a long-term thing. There's too many young people think they can optimize for something and it, then they find they've, they've spent a couple of years or more specializing in something that may not have been the right thing in the process they burn out because they haven't spent enough time building up friendships and having a life outside computing. I meet a lot of sort of Mm, I don't know what we can call them, junior geeks that uh, just think that the only thing that matters is their subspeciality of computing programming or AI or graphics or something like that. And well, it isn't. And uh, the rock might be pulled under them for, for that. And if they do nothing else, well, if you don't communicate your ideas, you could just as well do Sudoku. Uh, it's, uh, you, you, you have to communicate, and a lot of, a lot of sort of caricature uh, nerds um, forget that. They think that they can, if they can just write the best code, they, they will, they'll change the world. But you have to be able to listen, you have to be able to communicate with your would-be users and learn from them, and you have to be able to communicate your ideas to them. So you can't just do code, you have to do something about culture and how to express ideas. And I mean, I, I never regretted the time I spent on, on history and on math. Um, math sharpens your mind, history gives you some idea of your limitations and what's going on in the world. And so don't be too sure, take time for to have a balanced life and uh, be um, be ready for the opportunity. I mean, a broad-based education, a broad-based skill set, uh, which is what you build up when you educate. You're basically building a portfolio of uh, of skills. It means that you can take up take advantage of an opportunity uh, when it comes along. You can recognize it sometimes. Uh, we have lots of opportunities, but a lot of them we either can't take advantage of or we don't notice. It was my fairly broad education. I'd done standard computer science, I'd done compilers, I'd done multiple languages, I think I knew two dozen at the time, and I have done machine architecture, I've done operating systems, and, and that skill set turned out to be useful.